And I think it's also, uh, you're, you're going to increasingly see more creative possibilities for the player, which is, which is I think, where a lot of the educational value comes from. Uh, being able to create your own pinball game is one example. We've extended that with Music Construction Set to a product that uh, is about music. And of course, there are a lot of people that are really interested in music and interested in having their children learn about music. And it uses a lot of... Yes, only a monster. Only an inhuman creature would spoil things. That said, I'm probably not going to take this game super serious. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I have a rule. Uh, every time I get up to get a drink, I have to do some push-ups. That's my exchange. Particularly if it's a drink with calories. So hopefully there will be some auto-balancing there. What's up, everybody? I'm actually kind of excited to play this. I was watching Stephanie play it. What's up, Dan the Predator? Your username is apropos. If you were in a bar, it's your Lionel Horse package. If you were in a bar and somebody bought you a double gin and tonic and told you they love Funhouse and then promptly left with that weird you out, has that happened? That hasn't happened. Wouldn't it weird me out? No. I'd be pretty appreciative. I imagine it's like being an attractive woman. You never want to feel like a gift you get has strings attached. And if the person leaves quickly, they're kind of solves the problem. Whew. Blinker, I'm just impressed. I don't know that I like it that you guys come fast. <laughs> Rat attack, awesome. Final Fantasy 14, I, I hear you're really liking it, which is really cool. What server are you on? Also, hello. Uh, Rit... Ritari Susi? Man. There's a lot of syllables in that one. Don't forget to use your power. I don't think I would. It's kind of interesting it's there to protect you from unintended consequences. But I hear that that's what happens anyway. What's up to Dubster? What'd you do if somebody gave you a box with a dick in it? Like a real dick? I'd call the police. Oh. Well. Oh, Xbox. Starting from the beginning, you're halfway through episode 5, and oh my god, yeah, Joker's left foot. I hear the last episode's kind of... It's got some bomb drops, but also doesn't really tie everything together in a good way. That's just what I've heard. I haven't played it. But yeah, I'm starting from the beginning. I wanted to wait until it was finished, because I hate waiting. So I don't really like TV too much. I like the UK style. Hmm. Aiden Kush, that's that tends to be the case with any interactive narrative type game. It's because the beginning's easy, because you only have so many branches. And then by the end of it, you start to understand all the branches have to be closed off and reconverged to an ending. And that's when all your choices stop mattering. One ending is not bad, or sorry, not good. The other one is pretty good. Okay. Last episode is just not good. Do you think it's a question of it not being good, or like, is it the same quality-wise, but it's just the ending? It's just I don't know. I have yet to have a game like this where people like the ending, because the ending always seems to be a reminder that what you do can't really matter. <sighs> sure, sure, sure. That said, I think Undertale seems to have pulled that off pretty well. Yeah, Pendles, I think I think that's the the crux of it. I also think that's why people burned out so hard on Mass Effect 3. I had my own problems with it. Uh, I thought it wasn't a very good game, but... This doesn't seem like it's much of a game. It's kind of a walk-around-talk, choose-things simulator. I guess, yeah, Red Colors, that's a really good point. Walking Dead Season 1 had a pretty great ending. And also, it didn't, it didn't really... I wonder if part of it was they gave you the illusion that your choices mattered, because when you're talking to um, Clementine at the end, you're telling her all this stuff, and it's like, she'll remember that, she'll remember that. I don't know that it actually mattered, but it's almost like the false promise that it, was all, it all meant something. The story was a clusterfuck. It gets weird. 
Yeah. I wonder how much of that is the 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 need to make something epic, something like Scott Pilgrim kind of did that. It started off with one thing, it was quirky and weird, and then it had to mean something with like a capital M and a capital S. And then the last chapter was just BS. I feel like Kingdom Hearts kind of did the same thing. Need to play The Walking Dead? Yeah, it's a, it's a good TV show. And I mean that, like, the game is a good TV show. I don't really like the show all that much. Oh, Ada, that's awesome! I'm glad you got to meet Adam. He's a cool dude. And that is a cool tornado. Kingdom Hearts is flawless. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Booyah! Oh god, that's gonna start happening a lot, by the way. I queued up a bunch of Rock Band DLC that apparently I own. Man, the, the DLC here, I should probably turn off notifications. The DLC that, uh... Uh, that's not where you do it. Oh, here we go. Okay, fine. Um, damn it. It's been really piecemeal about seeing what I have and don't have. Fight the tornado. You got it. 2013! Oh, Muhammad Ahmed Salim, this is Life is Strange. It seems to me to be like a teen Twin Peaks. Sweet titties. You started programming in school. Any tips on CNC C sharp? Um, no tips really. Just do your work. <laughs> Don't smash it all into the last minute. Just be smart with your time. Pay attention in class. Pretty basic stuff. Subsur Ezio, or Ezio, I should say. The music is really good, Admiral Roar. I can hear the class like I said, Stephanie, I watched Stephanie play it, and I was really impressed with the uh, with the soundtrack. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Saucy, I just started, so yeah. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. One of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation, and any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Selfie so in the middle of class? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. This takes place at like an art co art high school, right? I should take a picture to sure. Twin Peaks, Donnie Darko, Time Machine, Butterfly Effect. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <laughs> Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Ty, dude, I did finish the first Ratchet and Clank. Um, started, uh, going commando. But it's, it's really good so far. Yeah, Fago, feeling down? Sorry about that. Hopefully your mood will pick up. <laughs> Kiss my acrimony, you're actually not that late. I haven't been streaming that long. And I forgot to record. Oh. Um, Quanto, I mean, I'll give it a shot. I've played these kinds of games before, and I think... I think in that regard I'll be easier on it, because I kind of know what to expect. Yeah, Penlos, I could see that. <laughs> if you grow up with it, you just don't think about it. What's up, Juicy? Good evening. Good, that bitch! I will fucking kill you! Spaces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Never too late to record, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to pull the, the VOD from Twitch and use that to backfill the beginning. Siggy Bim, I did play until dawn. I, I had fun with it. Again, I think that's one of those, if you know what to expect, you won't be let down by the reality of those kinds of games. 
country too. And yes, Max, I see you. The voice acting is all right. I'm gonna say it. I know a lot of people bag the, uh, like the verbiage. But I, you know what? I'm not gonna pretend to know how kids talk. I'm gonna say that. Maybe I'm so old that I fucking. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Maybe, maybe the damn kid. Fucking fifty-three hundred dollars. Fuck me. Come on, Rad. Be scary if I were a girl. Even I guess that's true. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? She's a bitch. Thank you for resubbing. Kiss my acrimony. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. Her eyes give you pains, like they're too big and kind of chunky. Admiral Roar. Some of the voice acting is bad, but it adds to the quirk of the game. That's how I felt about Shenmue. The voice acting's not great, and then sometimes it's just downright bizarre. But that kind of played in with the oh shit, J Crook subscribed. J. Crook 94 thank you for subbing. Let me look up a, a sub-hype song for you. But to me, that added to the quirk of the game. Like, Shenmue existed in this weird version of 80s Japan, where everybody is kind of a robot, and you're trying to do this, like, murder... Mi it's, like, none of it adds up in anything that makes sense, but it has its own weird charm. And I, I'm worried that... I'm worried that the new one won't have that. Like, that that magic will just be gone. It's that, it's that cult thing. Nanar. It's bad but good. It's earnest. There was something about it just trying so hard to be something that the technology of the time would not allow it to be. It reminds me of, of big budget 80s movies. Hmm. So, oh yeah, so this is another thing I learned. So I've started uploading stuff to YouTube. Nothing's up there yet, and I'll tell you why. Um, I've learned that I can still do my dumb sub-hypes. It's just, I, I upload the video, I let it process, I let Content ID slap it around. And then when I get content ID claimed, I can just tell YouTube to mute or change out those portions of the video. So what will emerge on YouTube is goofy clown music whenever I play actual subhypes, which I can play for you guys. I guess I figure that's one of the, the liberties of watching me live on Twitch as opposed to on VOD, which I don't expect a lot of people are going to do. That explained. J. Crook, thank you for subbing. You have the laptop. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, tell you what... I'm gonna extend. I'm gonna extend the sub hype from Thursday and play uh, some some pretty truck some pretty tight crush grooves. So let me make sure that the sounds off here. That's quite enough. Dial that up and thank you for subbing. Here's your sub hype song. Stuff's at the store. Are you asking me to do that? Alright, thank you for subbing. Hold on, I gotta... Gotta deal with my text messages. Oh, jeez. Wait. Huh. <sighs> Sorry, Steph. Hangouts hung up. <laughs> um, let me check what you asked. It, it wasn't appearing for some reason. Uh, ba 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 No! I don't need anything from the store. I'm good. Thank you, though. Maybe I should, maybe she can't see it though. All right, maybe that'll work. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos in these magazines. Hangouts has been kind of weird lately. I know when it tells me conversation history is on that it just kind of stopped. That printer is amazing. It used to work. I'd love to see how it reflects anyway. my pictures. I could pump out a What's up, kiss my acrimony? Um, I'm doing all right. Looks like somebody was already working on this. It's uh, not really evening for me. I'm just getting started. It's mid-afternoon. Hey, Kate. I like her hair. Gotta go back to school on Monday. Oh, you're in Scotland. Ah, oh, bummer. Sorry to hear that, Dan. Yeah, we can do rock band later. 
Anything can happen. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous. Is it because he's so attractive? Mr. Jeff Hot Jeff professor. Jeff. Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in a picture. Uh. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. So intimidating. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah blah blah, right? But you do Eight week college course? You have the fever to take Pro, you may be at first, but I think you'll find once you kind of figure out school, you'll have plenty of free time. It's about being smart with your time. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking to She's a bitch. She's a hoe. Man, he even has the best plasma HTTV for a class model. I might look at everything all the time. You can never escape the light. What's up, Oak P? That was a I thought there was a different photo that got highlighted for a second. Oh, it's a dot flying around. See picture. Oh, it's that one. Never mind. I seem to recall there being Wait, no, okay, so there are Mr. Jefferson really a lot of shit to look at, like pointless shit. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of I'm curious. I'm going to do I'm going to do this. I'm yep, I'm doing it. I'm going to check the achievement list. I think the only like optional achievements are for taking pictures of things and then that's basically just like pickups, discoverables, unlockables. So uh, optional photos. Yeah, it's just a bunch of optional photos and then finishing the episode. Ooh, that's what episodic gaming is good for. Don't trust me around your grandparents. That is probably wise. Get that GS. Damn right. Fucking damn right. Ha. Oh. What's up, uh, Augie Res? OG Res? Little optional photos, yeah. Make sure I don't look like a total loser. Just gotta lean and try to look cool. Uh she's sweet and everything, just a bit hipster. Eh. Joker's left foot. It's easy to try and like draw out of something when you think it's trying to be cool. Um, but I don't know. I've tried to be be less pretentious as I get older. To take things at face value. That's cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very The cool. only red locker. American I love that picture of Mom and Dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. And you look totally fabulous. Right, Brad. Are you going to wait for the Minecraft game to finish before I play? Probably. I'm not convinced I'm going to play that one. That's Dana talking to I, think his name is I read PC Gamer's review on it and I was like, those sound like pretty, pretty legitimate and pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bad things. Like basically they don't give you a chance, they don't really give you a reason to care about any of it. Oh, are they picking on him? Oh, come on now. Well. So I'll just sit here and then. Yeah, yeah. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. They should just call it a show. Edgy. Machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of Actually, that would be like awesome. That. Don't need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. Hmm. You play Tales from the Borderlands. Um, Kiss Macaroni, I saw, just like this game, I saw Steph uh, play some of it. I was really impressed with the writing, too. It's very funny. And Patrick Warburton. It's always beautiful. Okay, so the prompt, if you can get an achievement for it, it'll say, like, take picture, right? Oh, 
I don't know. I like games that just give you the opportunity to poke around and explore. Exploration's fine. I know I'm really going out on a limb by saying something is fine. What's up, Katniss West? Man, I didn't know any teenagers that listen to this kind of music, though. Siggy Bam, that's awesome. Go team. He wasn't even there, and he still recruited more members. That's impressive. Reddit just went down. Eh, doesn't that happen like every 20 minutes? Alright, let's use the bathroom. Where? Wherever it is. Ah, there we go. Half a Kubrick? No Man's Sky is fine. I'll play it, I have no problem with that. The bit... Sweet titties, you mean the bit rate? I'm still kind of worried that it's too low because I'm doing 60 FPS, and granted that doesn't really matter in games like this where it's not even 60. But still, it's just kind of set in OBS. Uh, and I was probably going to switch to PC later where everything is mostly 60. It would be higher, but... Uh, I'm good to flow. It would be higher, but uh, I don't have the bandwidth for it. This poster must drive people to have sex. Works for God. What's up, Cyborg Centaur? Welcome back. Do I just hide in a stall so I can hear somebody talk shit about me? Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Amber is a bitch. Well, maybe she's a bitch. Anything about that? Probably didn't. I feel like the universe is taunting. You think Halo 5 will actually come to PC? I think odds are higher now than they've ever been. Um, man, it's hard to say, though. I think all the ducks are lined up for it to happen, but it would probably be another year. Like, probably next fall? Just relax. Stop they did it before. Halo 1 and 2 came out on PC. You have a gift. And I think if anyone's going to do it, it'd be Phil Spencer to push it through. Oh, come on. Skin needs bio cards. Yeah, that'd be nice. What episode is this? This is one. This is the first ten minutes of episode one. Yeah, Cyborg, this is the first episode. Careful now. Careful. Careful. So I don't want Killer Instinct for PC. Yeah, cookie cutter. I mean, you can kind of think about it like the Xbox is a $350 add-on that lets your PC play Xbox games. Because you can stream it and stuff, but... Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Why is he in the girls' bathroom to rant? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went Yeah, I like that. Radiohead. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. Oh, it is getting ported? <sighs> I seem to recall I heard about that. He begs like a little girl and talks to himself. Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? Hella gun. Hella what bullets. Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Hella more trouble. More trouble for this we got a hell account running in chat. Nice. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Um, to Dobster, it's until I get bored, basically. Probably just gonna go through the first episode, to be honest. I've got a long list of games I want to play. Whoa. Ah, that's how she gets her, uh, superpower. That's pretty cool! To be honest, that gun was not that big. Hella back. Ain't no hella back, girl. Let's 
about two hours to finish the first episode on average. Now Kate is being happy. Actually, I'm probably not even going to play that long. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. No. Ooh. Give me an example of a if only you were so tra traumatized you could rewind and fix your camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, I'm oh, that's what she's going to do. Can I actually reverse time? I can take all the selfies I want. Because I have unlimited film. Talk to Kate, she's the best character or your favorite at least. Yeah, Couch Bro? Sure. I did it. I actually did it. You perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? You learn. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Gloria? Why Arvis? Because of her and if anybody else looked at this, what would they say? Man, you're really good at drawing. You're a scrapbooking master. Keep it together, Max. Keep it together. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of when I took my selfie, Jefferson. I don't remember what it was. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any This game is strange. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Very true. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Would she have a better mind? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful book. Hello, selfies. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell Girl the dragon tattoo, wow. Your generation. So I can It's a pretty high bar. Pretty high comparison. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Probably. Just hide there. Now, Max, Skip. You've captured... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? It's a bubble tower. Try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. Uh, I have not played Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, Is there anybody who... UFC fan. In UFC fan. Um, but. I have seen somebody play it, and I would like to play it. So that's a question of time. No, it is. Bitch! Even with fucking time travel power, she's still a bitch. What's up, Fear the Cone? I'm doing all right. Checking my phone, buzzing like crazy. Not too much. I can't tell. All right. Let's go. Okay, so you can skip forward to the next question. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. I can't take a selfie again? Hmm. The first American we got ourselves a real puzzle. Oh, I just have to keep going back. All right. To the dot. I have not played GTA since the Lowrider update, no. I've heard that there's a, a cool mode that's basically like the... What is it? Like that burnout race mode where the last person would blow up every 30 seconds? I want to check that out. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Bitch! The Daguerrean process made portraiture huge. It's a plus one? Yeah, that is kind of the perfect sexy professor, isn't it? Maybe if he had some gray hair. Like some, some silver fox material going down. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max? Yes. Yeah, Joker's left foot, I think we can't agree with that. Max. Does this game worth the money? Rayland? We're not dreaming. It's, it's really hard to answer that question. People in gaming circles talk about that stuff like it's an objective value, like, oh, it's got 60 hours of gameplay, therefore it is worth your money. I, I, it's not that easy. That, uh, yeah, if there's a trial, play the trial and decide for yourself. I think this game, more than many, is kind of down to taste. Please don't put the 30 second last place kill thing in the GTA races. Why? Does it does it not work out well? Max, don't wait too long. 
Sorry, that wasn't a direct spool reference. It's more like 60 hours seems to be the, the standard people expect with big ass games. I should talk to Kate by the window so I should go. I don't want to. Ugh, fine. Go we'll talk to Kate. Hey, Kate. What's up? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look yeah, I'm looking forward to Star Wars. Star Wars. Did Lasers. Laser things? swords. This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. Yeah, Red Attack. That's a really good point. We can talk later. Are there any decent free-to-play games? Tons on mobile, sure. I play the sh I play the shit out of uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest. That's mostly down to James. Uh, Star Wars Commander's good. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Fuck you. I never let one of photography. And slapped her ass down. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making. Up Got it. Blam. They're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish so I'll meet you in your car? Five minutes? Is No Man's Sky available to play yet? I don't think so. There's a note on the ground by her. I'll go check that out. I don't mind hints in a game like this, because... What are you waiting for? <laughs> I can't pick it up now? Alright, well, no big deal. Because it's, like, it's not like this is altering my gameplay experience, you know? Um, oh, photo! Photo! Uh, it's more like... I like figuring games out on my own, but like, give me them points. Oh, I turned off notifications. Got all that DLC. It has to be done by now, right? Must be done. Yeah. Turn these, turn these babies back on. Pumped for episode seven. I, I, I'm just pumped for Star Wars. I'm glad that it's like taking off again. We're gonna get. Movies every year and man, good uh, good time. Oh, Adam, is that the is that the hurricane? I hope not. I I'm really worried for everyone in Mexico and Texas. That is scary shit. Okay, so I'm kicking on my Steam downloads again. I'm gonna keep an eye on the stream. Hopefully, it doesn't start chunking up because I'm using my bandwidth. Oh, okay, you die so fast, and there's another clusterfuck left. Last time there'd be nobody left. Oh. Well, but it would be funny if everyone's all packed up at a at a tunnel and people start blowing up and everybody's trying to pack their way through. I think that could make for a good video. Yeah, uh... I hope I have time Mindagos. I did see Mr. Robot. Please, please. Ha, 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 I can't tell ha, anybody. Ha, ha. They'll think I'm crazy. F1 practice and qualifying Coda had to be stopped. Ah, oh, that sucks. I really like F1. I just don't have a good way to watch it. Entire area is getting to flooding levels, dude. That's scary. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass. He begs like a little. Does anyone at the office ever call Spool Sean? Yeah, that happens. I would say it's Spool a majority of the time, but sometimes, sometimes we call him Sean. Hella more trouble! There's just a hammer on the- oh. Oh. Okay. You can't- you cannot go out there, that makes sense. So you keep your inventory? That's kind of cool. Eh. Hella fire alarm! Nice! Hell, a nade shot. Another shitty day. Red legs. It's not quite like that. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck? Also, yeah, Callie could use some of that rain. Do not freak out. Holla, hella, give me hell, hella, ha. 
down in the hall. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. Oh yeah, him. If you like the game, it doesn't really matter. It's here. It's interesting. Salmon Blaster Hino. If you like the game, it doesn't really matter how much you paid for it. My mentality is, if I'm invested in a game, it's not an investment, but the more I'm invested in it, the less I think about price. As far as I'm concerned, it was a free game, the better it was. At least that's your theory. Sure. They're kind of talking about, like, what do they call it? Emotional economics. That you can budget your feelings and that everything is a trade-off, and if it's an equitable trade-off. Like, you can say it in terms of, I paid this much money and that made me this sad, but the game made me this happy, so I'm coming out ahead. And even if the game is two hours long, if it made you this happy and you paid this much for it, you still got a better deal. I, I do wish people would talk about games in that way, and also embrace the subjectivity of it. A game that's $15 can be worth $30 to one person and worth $5 to somebody else. Just because it's worth $5 to you doesn't make it not worth it objectively to everybody. It's one thing that like has yet to really permeate the discussion about games. Rachel, this is, uh, Life is Strange. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be a fun Episodic, quirky, quirky weird relationship-based story game. Oh man, but he owns the school, but I already know that. I don't know, you guys, should I play this, should I do this run contrarian? I'm actually gonna let chat decide. I'm, I'm willfully throwing it to you. Uh, rat attacks, I think rat attacks rule still applies, no spoilers, but uh, I'm down to play this to like try and wreck this game, to pick all the goof options and see what happens. What chair am I using? This is a DX racer. Report, report. Killer is dead. Rat, that's the only Suda51 game I haven't played yet. Why haven't I played that yet? I don't know, I need to play it. Report the fucker, snitch, rat him out, report. Wow, man, everybody's doing report. Should we do a vote? Ah, uh, Couch Bro, I don't know that it's that serious, but every everyone's saying report, so we'll go with that. I don't know, I might throw up straw polls in the future. The problem, play according to your best judgment, it's reflection of the player. I'm kind of okay with it being a reflection of chaos. A reflection of Twitch chat. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. Mendaugas, uh, sure. games, movies, music is all subjective. But somebody may like another person wouldn't, don't listen to people's opinions or reviews, and see for yourself. I agree, to a point. Um, I think a good reviewer can tell you if you will like something, whether or not they do. That's the role of a critic, or an analyst. And honestly, I think I can do that about games, but I think a lot of game reviewers can't. They can't separate their taste from being able to know what other people's tastes may be. So. I don't like MOBAs, but I feel like I can go into a MOBA, play it, and be able to tell somebody, based on the MOBAs they like, what to play. I think. Maybe that's a little overreaching. I don't have that much experience in MOBAs, but basically any other game I think I could. Also, I'm gonna take a fish oil pill. Rat attack? Dude, I need to. I don't understand uh, why I haven't yet. Yeah, Kyrgyzstan. There's a couple of reasons for that. They have a good narrative reason in this game for it not doing anything. But in most games, the answer is, they can't, they can't spend a lot of time making content that people will never see. And if, um, if there's a cascading effect of consequence, it creates unlimited game states, and as a programmer, you just can't account for that. Rat Attack, I love Suda. I played all of his shit. What does Fish Oil do for you? Um, it helps, uh, circulation, and that's not it, actually, I think. I don't know, it's just good for you, technically. I should have read, uh, should have read more on it, but... Supportive but not conclusive research shows that consumption of EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. Uh, also helps maintain tri triglyceride levels. That's important for heart health. So, it seems easy enough. How did you like Killer7? I loved Killer7. I think my favorite suit of game is probably Lollipop Chainsaw, though, because the soundtrack is fucking phenomenal. And the writing is pretty funny too. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. I'm kind of, I'm kind of fine with making enemies with that asshole. As funny as it, don't wander around here. Get on outside. as funny as like they want you to. Let's see here. I wish Adam Sessler was still reviewing. He always seemed pretty natural. He does. Yeah. I. Th it's interesting because he he's. He found a certain thing when he was doing reviews with Rev Three, that was. 
almost to where reviews need to go. He would do his holistic, normal, traditional review, which is essentially a book report. Um, Life is Strange is the next game from Don't Not Entertainment, the same people that brought you, uh, fucking remember me. And, like, he would just list all the facts about the game. The story was good, but, and it's like, nobody, it's so inhuman, nobody wants to hear a book report. But, the review would end and be like, okay guys, that was my review, and then he would go off the cuff. He'd be like, uh, I gotta say, I really like this, I really like that. And that was the good part. That was the actual review. And I was always so confused. Why did you stick that at the end? That should just be the review. Which is also why uh, we started to do reviews the way we did back at Inside Gaming. Adam and I would just talk about it. We'd write down some notes to make sure we hit, and we'd just riff. For like 10-15 minutes, and it's just two people that like games talking about games. That's one of the things I always liked about Judgment Day. That uh, Expo- or sorry, G4 show. Anonymous Deaths. Uh, this game is about... It's about a girl that has rewind power and how that influences both her personal life, her relationships with people that she knows, and uh, and a larger mystery surrounding the town she's in. She keeps having these visions of the town getting destroyed and things like that. Yeah, Rat Attack, the boss fights were fucking amazing. The uh, the last one, the, like, the music is just hey. fucking ridiculous. There she is. The retro <laughs> lesbians. That's it's about lesbians. Do you believe the say your J. Crook? Do you believe that a lot of reviewers play into the crowd mentality behind a game's prejudgment and the reviews for the sake of views on their content? Um, that's a really good question. I don't want to say because I don't know. I don't know what's going on in people's heads. I will say that I think that happens unconsciously. I think that uh, I think that being part of the game's conversation, you tend to come into playing a game or experiencing a game with a certain bias um, and I'm not using the word bias in the term that it's always overused um, I mean like the actual word bias like you just have a bit of a slant and that's unavoidable I think I think a critics or re reviewers responsibility is to understand their own bias so that when it influences what they do um, they can be aware of it and I think that's probably where the system breaks down also that's that's an that's not easy to do that's what being a professional critic is. Is knowing yourself well enough and the medium well enough to know where the two separate. Um, and I think most game reviewers are just people that really like games and really wanted to like have some esteem for their opinion and make money around it, so that's just what they chose to do. And also polar opinions tend to draw the most attention. So it's this cycle, it's this machine that drives people to be that way. To both come into a game hoping to get a polar opinion out of it, because just in your mind you're like, I need to make good content, it has to be extreme, so I'm going to come to this game hating it or loving it, and finding reasons to support that. It's confirmation bias. It's a uh, it's a pretty common fallacy that humans fall into. Then again, uh, I would like that games criticism and games discussion acknowledge that stuff and kind of excise it, but I think that may be, that may be out of the range for any form of media. Oh, J. Crook, don't worry about it. It's it's a good question to ask. I'm also ignoring the story here. That's the thing I'm supposed to be doing. I can say f I can say for a fact I've seen it happen firsthand, and I'm not going to name names, but I have seen reviews come out and hit that are like, there is way too much context in this review. Like you reviewed this according to the immediate discussion happening, like in this one month about this one game. Instead of just trying to wipe all that away and looking at the game objectively. Rachel, congratulations. Where did you get a job? Why don't you guys ever review on Funhouse? I also second for the Sess on a podcast. Quanto, I would love to have Adam Sess on a podcast. I watched him all the time. That would be that would be crazy. Uh, he was actually on an episode of Inside Gaming way back in the day, and that's something that sticks in my mind. But, um... Why don't we do reviews? I don't think it would fit the theme of content for Funhouse. That said, it's something that I haven't given up on. Um, it's always in my mind. You know, good ideas never go away. So I think if it's if it's up to me, we'll see it in some form soon. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be up to me. So we'll see. We'll see how it we'll see how it pans out. I think good content finds a way to exist regardless. <sighs> you can see this lady's her head's kind of rolling around. Let's see here. 
Boy, I was not paying attention. Um, sorry guys. What do you, think you guys are asking good questions. It's a little distracting. Not a complaint, by the way. You guys should do reviews on the know. Not a bad idea. Discussing that, there are logistical reasons that make that a little complicated right now. She seems like the jealous type. Would I ever start my own channel for game movie TV reviews? Joker's left foot, that's not a bad idea. I am going to start publishing videos on my YouTube channel. And if you're really clever, you can probably figure out what the URL is. Right now, I have one ba I have one in the queue and ready to go, except I used a Run DMC song in it, go figure. And I'm waiting on YouTube to chop that out for me so I can upload it without it running ads that go to somebody else. Plus one, I, I hope so too. I think we have a variety of great uh, perspectives in our team, and that we could leverage that to make some good content. Uh, yeah, OG, you you guessed it. You got it. Let's see here. Was there a reason Bernie gave on the RT podcast as to why RT never reviewed games, but I forget. <sighs> Mendelgus, um, I've cu I'm curious about that too. I've heard that... I have yet to get a straight answer on that. I've heard that they just don't want to give numbers to things. And I don't even know why that is the case. It seems to be... I'm sure there was a reason. I'm sure there is a reason. I just don't know what it is. Um, he seems genuinely unstable to me. It's, it's something I'll pursue. Let's see here. Have you and Steph thought about making vids together, right? Um, probably not in... I mean, it's not like a discussion we have. We don't sit down and like... Uh, Put on my green little visor, like start crunching numbers. I'm like, okay, let's do it. It's just something. I if it happens organically, it'll happen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's something I'm going to, going to push. Wasn't it that ugly internet incident? I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, Warren, I love you, Warren. Oh Jesus. Ah, oh, Warren. People start using YouTube Red. Do you still earn the same amount of income? Blinker. Nobody knows exactly how the equivalence is going to work out. It's really interesting. So, the way it is, the way it works now, and it's complicated even now, pre YouTube Red, is that there are, um, I'm going to say four basic ways that you can earn ad revenue on YouTube. There's the ads that get served on your YouTube page, the banner ads. There are, uh, what do they call them? Skippable ads or non-skippable ads? There are pre or mid-roll ads. Nice little squirrel. So there's a lot of. It's already pretty complicated, and it's not that like you get served an ad, you get some money. There are different kinds of ads, and those get broken out by region and by viewing type. So like, if you have a certain kind of demographic on your channel, you will get served a certain type of ad that could have a higher CPM than other ads, and then, you know, it gets. It gets real complicated. It also kind of goes down to how long people spend on your channel and how much of your content they watch. Do do people start watching videos on your channel then go to other channels? Do they watch a lot of videos there, but you are the entry point? If so, then you are prioritized. Um, so it's... Uh, now, YouTube Red, from what I understand, is that you are paid a flat rate based on the watch time that YouTube Red members spend on your channel. Um, which is, as far as I can tell, the most altruistic... Is that the word I'm thinking of? Let me look that up. Yeah. The most altruistic application of... of uh, ad revenue. It's purely... The more time you spend on YouTube, the more money we will pay. Um, that's similar, but kind of different from like the Netflix-Spotify model, which is that we, you know, we get a flat amount of revenue from our viewers, and then we pay out based on view uh, the thing that I'm concerned about it's it's minutes watched by the way and the way YouTube explained it because I looked up in the FAQ somebody said well wait a minute doesn't this uh, doesn't this unfairly prioritize people that make really long videos and the answer was yes and no um, a five-minute video that is seen 10 million times will get more minutes watched total 
than a one hour video that's seen 5,000 times. So, <clears throat> yeah. Gabba dead. I was, I was just chilling, just chilling, collecting my thoughts. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Right, you can, uh, you can keep Final Fantasy XIV in that other tab, man. Orderless window. I watch a lot of streams playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Good times, very relaxing. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out the would you still YouTube if you weren't getting paid so essentially for fun, or would you not see value in providing your opinions if you weren't getting paid? Anonymous deaths. I'm not sure I exactly understand what you're asking. I haven't started YouTubing yet, so I. Do you mean like would I give my like would I give my opinions for free if that weren't my job? Probably not. I think the world's full of people that give their opinions, and I don't. Mine aren't necessarily all that meaningful. Um. So if it were up to me, I'd probably be like, "Fuck! I didn't even pay attention to the question." <sighs> Whatever. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war I guess I can rewind and get it right. But you should know the difference. Good try. Probably. Fuck you. Um, Adam, basically Gus and Jeff had a website called Ugly Internet where they made fun of slash reviewed shitty websites. It's pre RVV. And one guy apparently found out where Jeff lives and described his house and truck, so they closed down the site and decided not to make criticizing content that targets specific people. Interesting, Adam. That seems like an avoidable consequence, and it also seems like a really harsh Sorry, I have to get back to my and long-lasting no consequence for what... No offense, Max. Fuck you, dude. For what amount to... Like, that's scary. But you can manage that stuff. Alright. Get this hey, shit right. Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless you could travel back in time... Curry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. Curry God, this guy's an ass. But I still want to show him up. In other words, no portfolio. Do Baker, you know the answer, huh? Well, do share. I'm curious. Uh, it was never really explained that thoroughly to me, in a way that really made sense. Robert Kappa, of course. Good evening to Good evening to Switzerland, Cloud LP. All right, I'll take the third try. Uh, people answered earlier, it's mostly they don't want to talk about people, people's work. But that happens all the time. Just not with an official title on it. That happens on the podcast all the time. If you're talking about a TV show you like, and you're sharing your opinion, that's what it is, just because you're not putting a review on it. I don't know. I think, I think tone and delivery are extremely important with that stuff. But, again, I don't know the, I don't know the depth of the situation. General know-it-all dickhead, fair enough. Want to talk bad about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. You never, like... The thing that I've learned is nobody... Can I take a photo of this? No. Clever. <sighs> nice. No... I guess the crux of it is, and this is what informs tone, Max, I don't feel like talking nobody releases something creative to the world and wants it to be bad. Nobody spends their time, money, and passion making something and says, I'm going to make something terrible, and I'm going to waste everyone's time with this thing, because that's all I want to do. Everybody wants to uh, to express themselves and make the world a more interesting place. So I think if you come at a thing, a, a creative work, and you think, and it's bad, and you're like, this is a shame, but I appreciate the earnestness of it. Like, there's always something to be had. There's always something good to find in something. And if you just point and laugh, let's hear Trick of Zeros, break from stream to get the car. Yeah, I can. I can help carry in all of the soda. You are my new Except Joe Wood. Kagritistan, I, I still think... Even something like that, like Joe Wood, still still added something to the world, right? If indirectly... I think those... The world is a better place for those games existing. That's an awesome shirt. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Do you watch, uh, DK Gavin, do you watch any of the Funhouse videos you're not a part of? Yes, I watch all of them. The only Funhouse videos I haven't seen that I'm not a part of is I haven't watched the movie podcast yet, and I haven't watched the podcast that I wasn't in yet, uh, the one with Jeff, and I really want to. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry, my foot, my foot's bouncing, it's a nerd. Uh, 
It's a nervous habit, Cloud, you're right. You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. I should learn how to, uh... Ooh. Can I... Can I name an actual thing? Yo, just, just in case you need help. Yeah, I know. I'm, uh... I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Nice. No, I am not. Nah, I just can't skate or shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh oh. No slide. I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. When you find the cure for restless leg, let me know. Can I take a photo? Come on, that had to be a photo op. Nope. Nope, not doing it. Okay, fine. Good job, Trevor. Cross slash pants off around your grandma? That seems a little weird. Maybe you got a cool granny. Nice. Dang your hip. Trevor's pretty cool. Oh wait, I'm loaf is here. Oh, getting yeasty. Yeah, right? Gabba Dead, I wonder if the reason people didn't like this game, or the reason it has strong reactions, is that it does kind of depict awkward teenagers. And I think everybody kind of remembers being an awkward teenager. Some of us think back on it fondly, and some of us hate it. And sometimes I wonder... It's kind of like, um, like FAQ Podcast, or anything that represents awkward people, and it just has like that Ricky Gervais reaction where you're just like, Ugh! Like you just want to rip off your skin. I wonder if it's shades of that with this game, because there's a lot of dorky, like wispy mustaches, a lot of creepy, a lot of creepy kids trying to be cool, get ready to crumble. Oi. Crumbs. Oh, no parking lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, couch, couch, bro. Keep the keep the hell hell account alive. What what hell account are we at? Or are you are you already out of here? Are you, are you iPad? Oh no, you're playing a playing a game. I just like the idea of a teenager playing a game on a tablet, standing up in the middle of a park, kind of swaying back and forth. Joker's left foot. I'm still an awkward teenager. Probably why I don't like how the kids act in this, because I'm around it in everyday life anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of the quirkier aspects of human behavior. They don't want to see the things they don't like about themselves and the world around them. And that's something that, if you're in entertainment, you have to understand very keenly. Can I throw anything in the counter? Just take a sit. Hit. Uh, so stuff. When you get home, just let me know, and I will. Yeah, whatever. I'll use my super awesome man muscles to carry in a shitload of cherry coke zero, because that is the fuel that keeps this household churning along. Um, gee, it's ringer. You get bullied for being awkward. That shit happens, man. And it's it's it is exactly that phenomenon that I'm talking about. I have to go to the parking lot, man. I wasn't paying attention. Um, it's it's uh, the whole. It's the whole people hate in others what they can't stand about themselves. So if you're awkward, people are going to... Jesus Christ. People are going to go kind of... People are going to pick on you because they want to think like, I want to stamp this awkwardness out of the world. I want to I want to get rid of it in myself. So I'm going to get rid of it externally instead of internally because that's easier. Hello, P. Are you guys planning on building a podcast set for Dude Soup? I know the webcam setup is a funhouse thing. There's pictures on Twitter where you built couches in your office, and I know what you have space for that, so what do you think? Cloud LP, it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, I have, in the past, tried to move shooting of Dude Soup to the couches, and you would not believe how complicated that is, because we stream it. So we essentially have a duplicate production setup. We have two cameras, two audio, well, not two audio, but, like, it's, it's complicated. Um... And moving that across the room is much worse than you would think. Um, oh. Hi, Max. 
a uh, a blunt solution would be just get USB extension cords for everything. But like the mics and things like that, it's it's not easy. Looks Joker, where do you see find out in the future and where do you see yourself? I don't see anything about the future. I have things I want to try, and I'm not gonna think past that. Like one step at a time, for me at least. You think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants warm. God, look, she even has a crew, a bitch crew. Ugh. I don't want to talk to her, but I feel like with rewind power, I could probably find some way to make her look like a bitch. Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. You mentioned you were a programmer before moving to entertainment and production. Was the transition of careers an easy one, or was there a period of unease before you decided? Jay Crook it was absolutely a period of unease. It was, uh. I had a full time programming job. I left that for a part time freelance job that was still in the programming field. So I could still earn a good amount of money, but kind of set my own hours. It was a freelance gig for a life reinsurance company, um, which was a great job. It was perfect for what I needed it to be. I would basically work about 30 hours a week on that, and then another 20 writing game content online, um, editing other people's work, things like that. So that got me experience and connections that uh you know just after enough put in enough time work hard enough the people around you may go on to better things they'll be in positions where they can they can hire you or want to hire you and uh you can move your way up there but it all comes back to like being patient working hard and being smart what computer languages did you use the most c++ is the standard for pretty much everything i used a lot of Perl in my life insurance job because it was a lot of it was a lot of um, text manipulation. That's very good for that. All right, Brad. Didn't you already ask that? Do you think if me and Steph will make content together? How did you like class today? I don't know. I don't remember. It's nothing I'm gonna force. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm not going to like you sit here. Say these things. Max, I like to be alone. If you don't mind. I'm sorry. All right, fine. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go get a thumb drive. I'm taking this game real slow. Which means I probably won't... God damn it, I have to talk to this... Oh look! Oh, look. Max Caulfield. And of course her, her last name is... Caulfield. What a lame no worries, Rye Bread. I will... I will fully believe that sometimes my stream just cuts out. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds what a bitch! How long have you known the Funhouse crew? I met them all at different times. Um, Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the door. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Cyborg, thank you for that tip. I think I will. What a bitch! Holy shit! So original. Don't worry, Max. Yeah, Berman. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it oh. all over social media. It is. Yes. Why don't you go fuck yourself, B? God, just kick... Oh, yes, Stomp right on her vagina. It's right there. Just <laughs> right between the legs. Bam! Grind it in. Fuck you. When did you meet Spook? Um, I'm assuming you mean Spool. That was when I moved to LA the second time in 2013. 2013. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. God damn. Just grind her labia off. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Well, I guess that's a way I could get in. Uh, young sandwich. I can't really, can't really tell you if you should buy it or not. I think you will know if it's your kind of game pretty quickly. And you can decide for yourself. Punch her in the tit, and it'll hurt more. I guess you could just like kick a tit. Uh oh. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my. Just give her a big like heel you kick. Boom! Make her boo go whap. Slap her boob. <laughs> Slap it so hard it flies off and then hits the other boob. Like a metal, like a business metal ball clicker. Hey, fuck y'all. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Get lost. All right. Well, that didn't do basically anything. All right. Is 
So there's a can of paint. How do you feel about Battlefront the new Star Wars? I'm excited for them all. Just Keith. So he goes up there. Do I need to get paint to spill on them? Goes up there, puts the can there, hooks it on the thing. If I turn the water on before he gets up there, maybe the water, maybe the paint will spill? I'll try this. Slap her caboose. What's up, Mir me, Aranda? So let's try this. He's on the ladder now. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? Sounds like she needs to get paint on herself. So the pole, the bar is up there. She stands under nothing. So they step away briefly. Do I have to wait until he, like, no? He hooks it there. Hmm. This. Quanto! So you told me how to do it. Please don't do that. Uh, tips allowed. Just don't, uh, please don't. Now that I know, I have to do it, but please don't, yeah, please don't put spoil puzzle solutions. That's gonna be tricky with people coming in and out of chat. Okay, let's see if this works. So I probably want to move her out first so that when he puts the can up, it spills on her. So it's tricky, like, I feel bad if people come in and unknowingly, like, spoil a thing. How did you decide on doing computer science? I like computers, a lot. Uh, and I enjoyed programming. I had actually done that in high school, so. It was, it was a, uh... Yeah! Stream tomorrow. Yes, this is kind of a makeup dealio. I've been traveling a lot lately. Don't mess with Max, bitches. But computer science was one of those things where it's like, I enjoy this. I enjoy doing this a lot, and uh, this is something I could, I could spend the rest of my life doing, and I could. It's just, my first job kind of taught me some hard lessons about. I feel like if I had gotten a different kind of job in the coding field, I would have been happier, but I was not very happy at my first job. And that taught me pretty quickly that, like, I need to enjoy what I do. Because I spend so much time doing it. Hey, yeah, Samuel did nothing wrong. <sighs> Alright, chat. I'm gonna throw this to you guys. Should I make fun of her or be understanding even though I did this to her? You have a degree in computer science and a twitchy foot? It's a price you have to pay? Yeah, maybe. That could be. Brain just doesn't slow down. Have you watched Ore uh, Monogatari? I have not. I'll add it to my, uh, if it's on Crunchyroll, I'll add it to my queue, though. Somebody was talking about Magi the other day. Uh, it's not on Crunchyroll. Oh, boy. Comfort, make fun of her. Uh, fuck that bitch, make fun, kill her. Fun of her, comfort, 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 destroy her, comfort. Shit, I think we got an even split. People hate when you're nice after they were a dick. Comfort, comfort, comfort. You're already dirty. Smash or snatch. That bitch needs to go down, comfort her. Comfort is what Max would do. Make fun of destroy. I think comfort is slightly edging out. Gotta be a bitch to survive in the world of bitches. Kick rid of Stan, fair enough. Comfort, comfort the shit out of her. I think comfort wins, I'm gonna comfort. I am so to be fair, this is like, awesome this is <laughs> cumber snatch that birch. It's basically the ultimate back backslap because you did it to her and then you're like, aw, poor you. J. Crook, it's a little late, but good call on that one. Remember it will affect things later. Eh. I'm not convinced it will. Maybe in like episode three it'll affect one line of dialogue, but he's one of my heroes. Thanks. I uh But this is how this is how you fucking own the world. You slap someone down and then make them think they're your friend for it. Yeah, topic question, what do you think of One Piece? 
Also, if anyone knows the most recent Arkan manga. N uh. Fartkey Jr.? Um, I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. I've just seen the first clutch of One Piece episodes, and by first, I mean like first 10 episodes, so I haven't seen enough One Piece to have an informed opinion, especially considering there's like 500 ups, but. See, look at this. You did! You covered her in paint and made her like you. And then make fun, she goes, Is that come? Awesome. Do you think I should go to an Ivy League school and, or go to your local university? I was more worried about not getting the same education as Ivy League schools, which I fear may foil your plans for a job. Vajrasas, um... So, I'm, n I'm not that knowledgeable in the realm of academia, but I will say that it, with a few years on the job force, you can work your way wherever you want to go. Um, so, the degree you get and from where may influence like the starting conversation but once you're in the workforce you can you can move wherever you want to go and if you feel like playing the political game I guess going to an Ivy League school will technically get you into interviews and maybe get you started off at a higher salary if that's your only goal but there's a lot of other goals to consider there so if it were up to me and I guess it also depends are you paying yourself or do you have scholarship money do you have Money your parents are giving you for school. But, uh, if it's purely up to me, I say, like, higher education is not worth the money. The hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt you'll have to go into, if you just, if you enter the workforce clean, without any debt, you can work your way up to that amount of income way quicker than you can pay all that shit back. I don't know. I think, I think fucking student loans are ab an abomination. That's just me. The, there are, I feel like there are two things that in a civilized country are not are not a profit earning venture education and health care those should be basic human services but in America they're not and that kind of breaks a lot of things about the intention of them let's see here did you study in your home state or did you move Mendagas I in my home state I was born in Texas I went to college in Texas I uh got my degree from Texas Hold on a minute. Steph, there's a car on the 405 decorated look like a day at the beach, and it says Jimmy Buffett and Irvine and marker on the back window. It has a fake shark doll that's been flattened and attached to the car. That's horrible. Alex Joker, this is your first time on Twitch? No, Spool does that a lot too, but do Adam, Bruce, and James do this as well, or do they try to focus on their YouTube channels? Um, James definitely streams, but he has a pretty regular YouTube posting schedule. Uh, Adam and Bruce post on their post on their YouTube channels as well. So I think I'm kind of late on that train. I'm gonna start whenever YouTube decides to finish processing the video that had a Run DMC song in it. Are you still processing? All you have to do is mute one section of the video. It's strange. Oh, it's still editing. Okay, I got. It's got to be in some kind of work queue. Waiting for some server farm to get around to it. Looks like Dana left me a oh, Dana, you took my flash drive. All right, I gotta go find her. Gotta go, Adam. I am so to this huh. Look at these vintage beauties. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Aw, oh, Warren, oh, little guy. It's not. It's tricky now. It was hard times. All right, Ada. Thanks for dropping in, man. I'm glad you had a good day. Glad you got to meet uh, Adam. A lot of looking. Instant film is so damn hard to I'm learning that the look command doesn't really do much. I'm analog, not digital. Thank you, Rat. Thank you for posting all that stuff. University has any good entry level jobs aside from internships. Not having luck finding video production jobs in your area. Um, so yeah, cyborg video production is something you just have to kind of do on your own. Uh, to, it's one of the few jobs you definitely have to prove you can do before you even get it. <clears throat> do you ever work out with Bruce, Adam, and James? I worked out with James before. Um, and Matt. We're doing the insanity workouts after work. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky 
which I've been super unreliable with, but. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday, and slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Oh, I went. Play them jams. This is probably gonna get me, get me popped on YouTube, but whatever. I watered it. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. I don't know. That whole Max, I sorry. Warren, I guess did get friend zoned, but that whole term is kind of gross. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. It's uh. Such a goofball. Not to get too too Tumblr about everything, but Jesus Christ, it's totally okay for women, for dudes and girls to be friends. That doesn't mean that there's a nefarious intent, or that somebody's been slighted. How many YouTube, how many YouTube videos do you think it takes to start a following? Slain Hope, I don't think, I don't think there's an easy answer for that. Can you tell Brooke? Okay. Gandhi? That's not who is in that room. Oh, Victoria. Victoria. Fucking break. Are you guys uh, selling shirts at Dude Supply? Fred, I think so. I think we are. How sad. I didn't write anything. But the peak shirt is sold out. Um, I don't know that we have that one. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Well, bang for Jesus. What do you mean? That's awesome. I don't want to do that. That's kind of a dick move. Erasing somebody's... That's not That's not my thing. They can write whatever they want. I have to be respectful of that. Why is there a roll of toilet paper? Looks like nobody won this TV war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Just because somebody is nice to you doesn't mean you have to fuck them in the end. Very true. It's almost like human beings should be nice to each other, and that's where it should end. It's almost like you're the asshole for expecting more. Hey, Juliet. Almost like that. What's up, Sutton Plant? You ask a favor. You don't owe me anything, but your friend got rejected by a girl and don't know how to make him feel better. How did you find out? There's probably nothing you can do with anonymous deaths. Why do you give that shit time. Why are you even Although I'm not sure what the uh, favor is. Uh oh. Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Bam! I didn't even think you knew. Didn't even have to rewind. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Do you remember a while ago how you asked? Oh, how yeah. How your straight girlfriend likes to watch lesbian porn. Turns out you also like watching Cox and you're straight too. Is that normal? To there is no such thing as normal. She's you like what you like. And exactly if you're not hurting anybody, you. There's no reason to feel self-conscious about any of it. Do what you gotta do, man. Do what you like doing. That's what life's all about. Normal's overrated. And normal doesn't exist when it comes to sex. Uh... I agree? Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. I should find a way to end this. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. At all. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. There's not really like a... Where's Ritari Susie? Thank you for watching. Uh, I'd love to make a photo collage. Julian, yes, of course. Every every human being has. All right. I would say every relationship. What can be called underperforming in the bedroom can be considered over the top on a bus. Well said. It's all relative. Can someone explain the premise of this game, please? You. Our high school student that can rewind time. And then hijinks ensue. Did I 
say the wrong thing? I guess I'll rewind one. I got her name right. I thought that was the only thing that mattered. I just need to listen to the conversation again, I bet. Hey, Joel. Oh, yes, Max. I... She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend. Boo! No, probably not. How did you find Time out? traveling lesbians. Why do you care? Which is Why are you also the f best premise ever. You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. Flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because Jay Crook, very true. I don't care. Normal people are boring. Find out about them. According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Oh. Alex, it is 2.53 p.m. here. Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Okay. So I have to go find evidence that Victoria fucked it up. Oh, okay, I'm paying attention now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Henry Cannon is a normal person and can confirm. You think you're boring, Henry? I don't know. I uh, I tend to think nobody's boring. People just kind of repress the things that make them interesting or the things that make them unique. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice show. Julian, um, I am all about Whataburger. I think In and Out is way overrated. Sexuality and gender are fluid concepts. What is humanity like rigidity and choices so much? People like labels. It makes everything neat. Ooh, this is the email I need to show Julian. Blap blap now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Is there a print button or is she just gonna do it? Print email, there we go. Doop. Yeah, motherfucker. Mean girls. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Gonna go stare at Kovic tomorrow? Good. He likes being stared at. I should be able to just take her jewelry. Let's fucking take it. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her God damn it. Maybe I will join her podcast. I'm, I'm bouncing again. Hate how much gender affects everything, it's just so dumb. Well, Joker's left foot, that's the world. Here's the thing. We're all monkeys uh, at heart. There's a lot of garbage floating around in our heads that comes from basically being primates that somehow got sentience and self-consciousness and free will. And I don't know if those things can be solved, but part of being alive and being an adult is realizing that there's a lot of primal shit floating around in the way we interact with each other. It doesn't make it right, but it does make it real. Than to think I must seem like a really boring person because I'm quite awkward around people. Grexter boy? I mean, me too, man. Juliet, read this. For better or worse, I just assume that... Um, yeah, J. Crook, th thank you for the uh, reminder. Um, I tend to assume that I'm weird, everyone else is weird. I refuse to feel bad about that. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. Especially when I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just being myself. And, I hope so. and if I do hurt somebody by being awkward, I apologize for it. I try to do the right thing. But... But oh shit! Julian sub! Julian sub! Alright, let me, uh... Let me play another sub hype. This is... It's very liberating, though, to know that I can... I can play all the copyright shit I want on my stream and, uh, let YouTube sort it out after the fact before I uh, post it live and monetize it. I mean, from a, uh... From a production standpoint, that does lengthen the amount of time from recording to air. But, you know what, this is just me fucking around on my computer at home, so it's not like the world is is anxiously waiting what I have to give them. Um, hmm. Now we're gonna go with this. Alright. Thank you for subbing, Julian. I've seen you in chat before, so I'm glad you, uh... Glad you decided to pay me money for sitting here and playing video games, but... Uh, here is your sub hype. I do hope you enjoy it.
Yeah, that was loud. Sorry about that. Uh, telling you, man, I listen to all kinds of music. Very 90s. <laughs> I guess so. The irony is that album came out in 2011. Yeah, it does mute VOD. Um, I guess I should play that kind of stuff since we're playing. Just through... Uh, Alex, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I forget that people listen to my my streams at a reasonable volume. And that, as funny as it is for me to imagine music blowing people's ears off, it's actually not, not amusing to do, uh, or not amusing to have happen to you. So I'll be a little more aware of that in the future. Um, oh dear. That's some grade-A drama flopping on the floor right there. Hey, you. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Are the tens? Teens, I think, is what they'll be referred to. Greg I did. I have access to Halo 5. Uh, I could pit her against Victoria. I think I'm gonna do that. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging out. Oh, are you here, Steph? Is it time? Is it time to carry things? Here. She's here. Alright. That means it is break time. Uh, we'll be back in just a bit. I gotta go carry heavy things and then, of course, refill my drink. But, um, I'm gonna say five minutes. Got weird clips coming up. Uh, so people seem to enjoy those. What the fuck? Alright. So be back in a bit. Uh, we'll we'll pick this up in a sec. <laughs> 